You may recognize the Sioux Falls restaurant, but the former Trey Lounge is taking on a new image as Trey Ministries. In tonight's Eye on Kelland, we're showing you what this change means for the Sioux Falls community and its young people. This familiar building in the center of town, just off of 33rd Street and Minnesota Avenue, still has half its familiar name, Trey. But the restaurant is gone. In its place is Trey Ministries. From the very moment that kids walked in, they all um, were just excited to have a space that they felt was home. It reminded them of home. The colors remind them of home. The feel is home. It's um, welcoming. So it's a great space for the um, ministry that we're trying to provide here. It's Trey Ministries' first day open. The non denominational Christian ministry is just beginning. The old Trey Lounge building is its home. Programming will focus on different ways for kids to get to know each other. So um, it'll be some aspects of fun, some will be more worshipful, some will be um, more social, different ways for kids to interact and get to know each other. Um, and putting them all in the same room, whether you're from Augustana, USF, or workforce, whatever. Bourbon says everyone is welcome. 22-year-old University of Sioux Falls student Elizabeth Ennels met Bourbon at school. She approached me and some other students and said, hey, I have this idea. There's a building in town. Um, it's called Trey. And I was like, oh, yeah, the Trey building right by Mango Boy. This is awesome. Um, we just kind of took a tour and brainstormed on what this building could be and what um, Trey Ministries could look like for Sioux Falls. Um, so I'm here because we need this place in Sioux Falls. By we, Ennels means the age range around 18 to 27 years old. Right out of high school, um, you need support. You need to know that you can go somewhere where there will be people that like care about you. Um, the in-between stages between high school and college is very like, it's just, um, it reminds me of like floating at sea where you're just kind of like, ah, I don't really know if anyone cares about me. I don't really know what I believe in. Because um, you go to college and you get exposed to a lot of ideas. And I'm doing this for the kids, for college kids and for high school kids. It's been something that I've been working on for many years. I have spent many years going and talking with kids and meeting with kids at coffee shops and at um, other restaurants in Sioux Falls and different spaces and colleges on campus. Now there's a place for it. But maybe there's a better word for what trade ministries might provide. A home. Uh, relationships. Um, when they walk in the door, they're going to know that they're cared for and that they matter. And someone to listen to them without judgment and hopefully create no fear. Even the furniture, it's kind of a weird detail, but it's like a darker brown. It feels more homey. Like you walk in and I don't feel like I'm out of place, like I have to find a spot really quickly. Like it's just very open um, and there are designated areas in, in such a way that I can come up to the top floor and kind of mingle. I can go downstairs and it's like it feels quieter. Churches would be able to rent out spaces here for events or their own programming. The duality of the space of being like students can come here and hang out and do homework and also churches can come here and do what they're doing. I think that's very unique and something that Sioux Falls needs. I'm lucky. I get to work alongside these kids. I'm blessed. It's amazing. And I want others to feel that same way. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella.